Hey, it's Pixel, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of some pesky rodents out of your video clips, so let's take a look. Alright, so first thing we gotta get into After Effects here, then we're gonna need to pull in some footage of some squirrels, cause who likes squirrels? I mean, they're disgusting, I hate them. Just wanna see them dead. So, we're gonna have them right here, and he's in just a little piece of grass that I'd like to go out and just roll around in myself and we're gonna get rid of them really really simply all we got to do is go up to window and then down to content aware fill if you never used this before it's a super cool feature of After Effects and it's really easy to use so all you got to do is grab a mask and draw a box around the thing that you want to take out of your video clip and if you want to be super cool press s while you're still clicking and dragging and that'll subtract instead of add now I want to make sure that mask stays over the squirrel the entire time that I'm on timeline here so I'm just going to scrub through and make sure the squirrel doesn't come out of there and then I'm going to press F on the keyboard to bring up the mask feather I'm going to feather that out just a little bit and I want to make sure that it doesn't accidentally go inside the mask a little bit so I'm going to double tap the M key to bring up all the mask controls and go to my mask expansion and just expand that out so it's a little bit bigger now you might have noticed over here in content aware fill that we got the same hole showing up right here in our reference area I could increase or decrease the alpha expansion right here, but that's exactly the same thing I did with the expansion down there. Under the fill method, we want to check object because this is an object, even though it is a dirty piece of trash. And I want to make sure the entire duration of that clip is selected so that we don't have any squirrels at all in our footage when we're done. Then all I need to do is click on generate fill layer. After Effects is going to start analyzing the footage. And while this is happening, we can take a look at some pictures of our favorite things. This is one of my best buds, Kimchi. He lives in Australia, and he always knows how to label his layers just right. This is a bed that I'm thinking about getting, and this is my favorite thing to lay next to to warm up. And now it looks like After Effects is done analyzing. Once these frames are all put in here, that squirrel will be gone and never remembered. And just like that, our squirrel has been removed. And this is just a fill layer. If I turn this off, then we've got our hole back there, but fortunately we still can't see that squirrel. But I'll just turn that layer back on, and now we've got some grass that we can put some of our other favorite things in. Some of my favorite things are a jar of peanut butter. So just scale that down and stick it right about there. And then maybe a T-bone steak. Always love that in the summertime in the sunshine. So there you go, that's how you add some peanut butter and steak instead of some ugly squirrels. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, we're gonna do it again. No, no. Oh my goodness.